hello friends welcome back let's continue our work so here is I have written here product price and here I have written quantity so actually quantity is this and price is this so we want to change it I want to change it where is cart this is cart and uh, this is quantity cut refresh so this is quantity now I'm going to work on this quantity when someone change this quantity suppose 5 so this quantity multiply with this product 1200 and change this to 60,000 and when we click on this update button then it is updated in our database so come to the code and start coding First of all, come to the action.php page. This is get underscore cart product and this is cart checkout. Both of them we have in the same function. So this is our eco cart page. So I'm going to add a EID equals to dollar pro underscore ID. Just copy this and paste it here paste it here also and add a class qty here another class this is for price and here another class this is for total so we have three different classes qty price and total with a parameter uh, actually yes attribute PID. Now I'm going to define a ID equals to dollar QTY hyphen. So yeah, actually it is QTY hyphen dollar pro underscore ID. So like this, copy this from here and paste it here. Paste it here also. So we have three different classes QTY price total and three different ID QTY hyphen this is our pro ID variable means QTY hyphen whatever ID with uh, change it to price and this is also to total total hyphen dollar pro ID so save it and come to the main.js page after card checkout we have to create a function dollar body dot delegate 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 dot qty this is our class click run a function alert zero for testing purpose uh, delegate save it save come to the page refresh click this yeah it's working it says zero so till now it is okay change this click to key up save it and refresh just click uh, any key so it's working working it's working this right here where PID equals to dollar this means I'm talking about this class dot a TTR attribute within we have attribute PID and take this into alert ID, save it and let's check 
so we have we have id product id 13 okay here we have product id 26 okay come to the page and remove this alert where tech quantity so qty equals to dollar hash qty is our id with hyphen plus i am going to concatenate this pid it works same as qt dot qty hyphen dollar pro underscore id so talk well this is qty hyphen pid well where price equals to dollar hash price hyphen plus pid dot well and where total equals to qty into price price now once again alert total save it refresh so we have 18,000 12 into 15 so remove this and select dollar hyphen hash total hyphen plus pid dot val total save this and come to the page refresh let's change this so when i remove uh, when i give a back space it is zero and i guess a number five so 12 into 5 6000 uh, 1200 into 5 and 4 4800 so it is working very fine 1200 in this k okay, 5 3 to 5 0 okay this is also working no, give quantity 1 give quantity 2 quantity 5 so it is now fine Now I'm going to update this product with a PHP. This is the glyph icon trash with BTN class danger having a href give a ID equals to dollar actually not give a PID equals to dollar pro underscore id so we have pid equals to dollar pro id and id equals to this button is for this button is actually trash means this button is for delete so i'm going to add a class remove yeah, actually id remove you can add class also yeah, it is better to add a class just remove this id and add a class remove so we have a class remove copy it and this is changed to remove underscore id so we have a attribute remove underscore id and a class remove just similarly add a id uh, attribute delete id equals to dollar pro underscore id product id and add a class delete delete save it everything save come to the main page and write dollar body dot 
delegate dot remove this is our class and someone click on this write a function add a event event dot prevent default desktop refreshing and var equals to dollar this dot attribute what is the attribute remove underscore id and alert test it Click this trash button, it says ID 13, it says 26, it says 20. Just copy this and paste it here. Change it to class delete we have given, and this is to delete save it and refresh no i am doing a mistake remove and delete both are same so before going to the next trail just uh, this is actually remove id and this is update id keep this update for convenience and this is remove means it's actually delete so refresh this save this and come on main page and change it to update this is also to update save refresh 13 ok 20 so I hope friends you like this video and you are uh, waiting for the next tutorial and I hope you enjoyed really enjoyed and if you have any problem regarding any video you can comment in the comment section if you will comment then I will know what is your problem so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe